Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. I'm Sacred Sage, and I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today, we're going to be talking about fixing lines in the hair cap. So, before that, as a quick reminder, if this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, consider subscribing and leaving a like or a comment. I'd really appreciate that. So, with that out the way, let's get into it. So, I have Daz already opened up here, and if we go into iRay, you might not be able to see it in iRay, but I rented it out so that you can see it clear as day. So we're going to wait for this to pop up. Now there are some, let me turn off thirds rule. There is a line right here in the character's head, right? So let me bring over this image that I rendered out and you'll be able to see it better. So this is what I'm talking about. So there's these lines. Now this is part of the hair cap. So it's nothing wrong with the asset designer. It is something that most hair problems deal with this. I, I don't know why, but basically it's the hair cap that fits on the head. So, but there is an actual easy way to fix this. Now you can take this into Photoshop and just Photoshop this out if you wanted to. But you don't got to. You can fix it in Daz as well. So if we go over here, most of the fixes that I found dealing with the hair cap deals with, see, so I got the hair selected. I'm in the parameters tab. And you scroll down. Most asset designers will have these. It's just adjust, adjustments for, for the hair. The good ones will always have these. So the depth, the height, Sometimes the top and the width. The width is the biggest one. So normally, when I get those lines, I'll just increase this to, let's say, like five. And then I will also do the depth by like five. And that normally fixes anything that I got going on. Just bumping it up by five points in different directions. If you notice that it doesn't change it, it's one of these other options. There's plenty of them but dealing with the forehead because that's normally what you're rendering out of a front picture of the model it is more than likely going to be the forehead depth and the width sometimes right here the adjustment of the whole head size that's a good one too so but those are the main three ones dealing with the forehead now sometimes you might have it on the side where the cheeks are at or on the back of the neck i don't get those too often but the asset designer has those here as well. And like I said, not every asset designer will have these, but the majority of them and the good ones will always have them. But I changed these both to five, and I already rendered out the other one, so I will show you guys the difference. So this is the other one that I rendered out, and you can tell that the lines are completely completely gone so just by doing that small adjustment now i don't have to do that work in photoshop and it only took me like 15 seconds to actually change both of these so i hope this video helped you guys out if it did show some love you know what to do and i will see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye